Hello and welcome to the third part in our series on starting with macros. I hope you'll forgive the slightly scruffy looking display there. Uh, we've got one or two uh, problems with it and we want to sort it out. Um, I'm basically looking at how we can get started with macros um, and here's my display which as I say it looks a little scruffy. So let's use find and replace to get rid of all those double spaces. So we just use as standard space space and then one space there, replace all and we've got rid of five, that's good, well done. Um, oh look, my name is spelt incorrectly so let's copy that and put that in the find. Uh, let's put it again in the replace but add an E, there we go, and replace that. Uh, it's two of those, okay, fine. And the third thing you might have noticed was these uh, hy hyphens instead of dashes. So let's go for <coughs> space hyphen space and let's change it to space dash space. I don't know if you've uh, come across that one. Uh, if we have a look in the special menu down at en dash uh, then that's what it uh, types out for us, a, a caret symbol and then an equal sign and that's what uh, Word uses for n dash. So let's try replacing those. There we go, nice n dashes and there's two of them. Okay, <clears throat> so if I just use uh, undo just to get rid of those three changes. Okay, um, now we can do that by using Fredit, that's the, uh, the purpose of Fredit. It stands for find and replace edit. So it's making changes by using find and replace, global find and replace. So uh, if we want to do our uh, Beverly uh, then we can put that in a separate file and paste that in there and then uh, we use a, a vertical bar and then put in the word we want to change it to, so with an EY. Now that vertical bar there is a symbol that you'll find on, I hope, most keyboards, uh, generally speaking down the bottom left above the backslash. Uh, right, so we also want uh, to change two spaces into one, so space, space, vertical bar, space. Uh, the downside there is of course we can't see it, so if we switch the visible uh, formatting on by clicking the pi uh, pill crow, um, there we go. Uh, and then the other one is space hyphen space vertical bar space and then we want this pill crow equal sign space. So those are the three changes that I want for it to make. So I click in the document that I want changing and then I run Fredit. So I'll run that. For, I would normally run it from a key uh, keystroke, but let's put it on here for now. So FR, there it is, Fredit, and run. So it's made three change those three global find and replaces and told me by making a, a bong noise. Um, and that's the basic principle of Fredit, and that's all there is to it. But I will show you one other thing while I'm at it. Let's just undo those again. One, two, three of them. Let's go back to here. Um, what we can do is we can put onto a find and replace um, a font colour, say, so I can make it blue. Um, well, now let's try another colour because that will not be terribly visible, will it? Uh, let's use pink. Uh, then for spaces, um, you can't put the font colour on that, can you? So let's put a, a, a colour on it and let's put another colour on there. There we go. So now click in the document to be changed, run Fredit, which I'll do from a keystroke. One, two, three, there you go. So the uh, the Beverly has had its font colour changed, the two spaces, as you can see from there, we've chosen those to be green, and the space dash space we've chosen to be uh, yellow. So that's basically um, how Fredit works, that's the principle. Okay, thanks for watching.